It really is shocking when news emerges about the inhumane treatment of people in detention. People who haven't done anything wrong. People who are simply being held while we, in this country, process their paperwork. And this is, of course, all about Suella Braverman, Braverman, Braverman. And I'm simply shocked by her behaviour. So while she was Home Secretary under Liz Truss for that short period, she was told that the Manston site in Kent, which was itself an overflow site and only capable of holding people for up to 24 hours, was actually holding people for over 30 days. Um, one family was an Afghan family. It's outrageous. They were forced to sleep on doormats and on bedding on the floor. And uh, in a facility which was designed to hold 1,600, there were 3,000 people being held there. Now, she was told that if she didn't do something, if she didn't move people, this would probably be illegal. But she didn't move anybody. And it was only when she herself was forced to resign and Grant Shapps came in that he put people into hotels. Now, she's back in office, back in office, and presumably up to her usual tricks. This is somebody who demonstrably should not be given power again. So the next time she resigns, there mustn't be a U-turn. It must be final and decisive, and that resignation be, must be accepted on a permanent basis. This is not somebody who should be looking after vulnerable, fragile individuals, uh, even if some of them are illegal, many of them are not. We'll come back to what is illegal and what is not, because I, I keep saying it, and uh, I, I, I will come back to it later on today. But at this moment, it's just simple. simple. Some of those people there, some of those 3,000 people who Suella Braverman, Braverman, Braverman treated with contempt are genuine refugees and have suffered terribly before coming to this country. And they looked to this country for hope. And we gave them Suella Braverman, Braverman, Braverman. It's shocking.